Good morning. This morning I'm going to cover um, an introduction to Q message box and Q input box. So these are two requirements and they seem to be at the start of the assignments. Um, so the, basically uh, this is the information that I can provide you with. Um, a prescribed textbook, uh, an introduction to design patterns in C++ with QT second edition shows an example on page 34 in chapter 1. And that's the first example I've noticed for Q message box. You can also find out further information on Q message box at the following two locations. Um, these two links will take you to the QT website and you can find out more what you can do with Q message box. As you can see, the third point is it, in, it is inherited from Q dialog and it requires the Q make setting of QT plus equals widgets and requires the hash include Q message box. So I've included this little green box in the bottom right as a summary and I hope that this will help you with regards to information on Q message box. The next one is a Q input box exactly the same as Q message box information you'll find it on page 34 in chapter 1 of the of the textbook the prescribed textbook and then these links show you more information about Q dialog Q input dialog and what you can do and how you can use them same thing as with um, yeah the Q dialog it's uh, it's it's inherited from Q dialog requires the Q make setting of QT plus equals widgets and requires the include of Q input box so this past year I've been asked um, to please help out with some solutions because um, this semester is semester 2 of 2020 seem to have the same question as one of them displayed in 2016 so I'm going to just um, create the project from scratch and then I've got base code already so I'm gonna just copy and paste it in so what you do is you start with a new project um, as I've mentioned in previous video you go to this other you choose an empty QT projects you click on choose um, here it asks you uh, I've, I've labeled it stored it under C UNISA COS 2614 assignment 1 so I'm gonna just call this 2020 um, S2 and um, assignment 1 okay I'm gonna click on next I'm happy to leave it as the default uh, editor okay click on finish and you'll see here we go okay so I've got an empty project file okay um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new uh, new class and that is from C++ I'm gonna create a C++ class I'm gonna choose it and the name of the class is guessing game okay guessing game um, let me bring it up on the right hand side over here semester 2 assignment 1 question 1 okay my class is going to be that of a Q object as you can see it's going to create a header file and a CPP file for me all right so the question was over here write an application that simulates a simple guessing game similar to playing Lotto the user guesses six unique numbers between 1 and 39. The program Lotto Machine also generates six unique random numbers in the same range. The program compares the user's guess to the set of random numbers generated and displays a score. The score says how many of the user's numbers matches that of the program. The random numbers are generated and the score of the game is calculated by the class guessing game 
So there's my class guessing game as shown below. So these are all the um, declarations that we need to add. Um, so this is my introduction and as you can see here it says implement the main function so that the user can enter six numbers in the range 1 to 39 in one Q input dialog. Using an appropriate separator which should be indicated in the Q input dialog these numbers should then be compared to the six numbers generated by the guessing game. Display the score to the user using a Q message box. Give the user a choice to play the game again before quitting the application. Okay, so this is my file as you can see. Here I've got my header and here I've got my um, CPP file and here I've got my profile. And as I've said before, the profile is currently missing some information. I'm going to add that information. As you can see, the project was created by or created on this day and this time. The QT has the plus equals core and GUI. And there's my QT plus equals widgets. Okay. We create a target called the guessing game and we say the template is app and as you can see it's only got my header and my CPP file. I've gone ahead and copied the files, uh, the information that is required. You can see I've added an include here for QList because um, that's what's required over here, QList. Okay, I've defined these parameters exactly the same way that they've requested them from here. So I've got them all included over here. Okay, you can see there it's got int num, int from num, and int to num. Okay, then it's got my guessing game with my uh, three variables for the initialization. Okay, then it's got my uh, get functions, my getters. Okay, and then this is the one that's going to generate a unique number according to the computer. And this one is going to be the one that generates the score for the computer and versus the user's input. Okay, then we've gone to um, our CPP file and I've gone ahead and defined uh, how we implement our CPP file. I've included the QTime since I've used the QTime uh, function over here okay, to um, give us the random numbers that we need. Okay, So this is a initialization of the program without any variables. This is initialization of the program with three variables supplied. Okay. Then here's our getters. Okay. And then this is our um, generate the number, the computer number. And this one counts our score and sees how much, how much, uh, how well did the user get versus the computer. The next part of the exercise is to now add a main.cpp file. So I'll go here and I'll say new file. And instead of choosing a class, I'm just going to choose a C++ source file. Say choose. And I'm going to leave it as main. Okay. Yeah. Main. Click on next can see it added the CPP automatically. Click on finish. Okay. Giving me some errors. Okay. So we added the main file. And if we go and have a look at our project file, you'll see now that it's got a main. Okay. Should just have one main, not two. Alright, um, so yeah, and 
in my main uh, I've told it it must include the guessing game header file so that it can execute the header and the CPP file I've also told it it must have include the queue application because that's what we're using here then it must include the queue input dialog and the queue message box so what we do here is we give our um, our guessing game a name which I've called my game we've given it some uh, numbers which we're saying they must guess six numbers it must start between one and the maximum is 39 okay so here's where it starts with the Q input dialog I've got a Q string variable and I've called it user input and I've said that it must be of a type Q input dialog it must get the numbers so I've asked the user to please enter six random numbers between 1 and 39 and these numbers should be separated by a comma so that's what the data member num stores the number of random numbers to be generated for the game from num is 1 stores the starting number and 2 num 39 stores the ending number so that's what this these three variables were okay from num to num and the actual number of random numbers okay so after that I put that information into a queue string list and I tell the queue string list to create a variable called numbers and then I feed the input from the user using the split command uh, by the comma which is what I stipulated here and then from there I go and convert that the, the Q string of numbers into actual numbers so that you can uh, compare them to the numbers that are generated on the computer okay and from here I tell the computer to please generate some numbers um, and then basically pass the, pass my numbers to um, the score and uh, it must compare the numbers and let us know what it is and as you can see I've gone and used a Q string for output and I've said that for every th for each number that's correct it must append this Q, uh, Q string okay and then at the end over here you can see a Q message box with information and it'll show correct numbers same with the message box um, will show us our score all right so i'm going to execute that program and we're going to test it and see how it works okay as you can see it's coming up asking us to enter our random numbers all right and let's just start choosing uh, 6 10 15 21 click on OK it says that um, the correct numbers were 1, 36, 31, 20, 17 and 17 OK our score is 0 because we didn't get any of the numbers correct and so that shows you basically how to use Q message box and the Q the input dialog box I hope this has been helpful and useful and thank you for watching. Goodbye.